Hello guys, Echo here with Nemson and Funshan. And uh, hello. How's it going, uh, mate? He's having a bit of fight in Is there. He? Should we join him? Oh, Should oh, we help I'm him? I'm to kill the zombie and a spike appeared in my face. If you can get through with them shoulder pads on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit bulky, aren't I? Right, this is the Thunderdome. I feel like... Take, with... take wow. one. <laughs> <laughs> take one, the Thunderdome. So, uh, we're in the Thunderdome yet. <laughs> Test it. So... Full trees. Wow. Yeah, just to get in the way. Oh, this is awesome. Flyers. And I'm in the sand. You've got to be careful of the quicksand. You two guys have done such a good job on this. I quicksand. can hear them building up over in the desert temple. <laughs> ah! Spikes. I Look can't see this. any mobs though. Where are they all? Um, this is the fight time. I li I believe we got, I got a little too long here. Oh, okay. So we've got. Because we have there's a there's spawners. A, yeah, there's a time for it to spawn and then a time for it to give you a second to fight. So, okay, okay, we're rooted around two now. Ah, tree. <laughs> this this is this is so impressive. I love what you've done. So. Ron has made an awesome program, but I'm in fucking quicksand. <laughs> yeah. Here we the go. The quicksand takes you straight that. through to go into the portal. Oh, uh, is that... I meant to go through it, was I? Not dig up well, the, not dig up the floor. You don't actually die in it. Yeah, you don't actually die in it. I didn't make it so the quicksand would kill you. The quicksand sends you through and you end up going into the portal and randomly spawning somewhere. Cool. If you're, if you're crazy enough to fall into the quicksand. I'm going to test that for science. <laughs> so I've uh, got two doors closed right now. I think they're all spawning inside those two doors. Excellent. Uh, uh, you might want to fall a bit quicker. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm stuck on the wiring of the. Uh... It's your shoulder pads, I tell you. You are sinking. You are sinking. Am I? Yeah, you're definitely sinking. There you go. You keep going. Keep going. A little bit more. There you go. <laughs> Three, and now you're behind door number one. <laughs> Got yeah, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in here with a skeleton. Yep, that's what you get for going through the quicksand. <laughs> cool, cool. Hey, I'm alive. So, yeah, this is. Uh, that's, that's ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I'm, I'm blown away by how, how good you made this. I can't see any mobs though. That's the truth. I think they're all behind the temple, because I've I've reset it to round two, round one now. Let me uh. We're gonna have to increase the spawning somehow, aren't we? So uh, here they come. Here they come out of the desert temple. Check out the vines as well, Echo. They yeah, sting you on the way through there. Eat vines and like that from uh, Nether I picked up. <laughs> so they give you a little stab every time you go through them. What? All right, well, let me make some. Uh... You get stuck in quicksand on carpenter slopes. No, uh, well yeah, it slows you down like quicksand. If the carpenters blocks, they're collapsible blocks that I put in. Very if cool. they're uneven, then you get the um, feel that you're in quicksand as you're going through the slightly uneven bit. Nice. Yeah, I, f I found that out absolutely by accident. I was just making this desert a little bit dented and all that stuff. <laughs> and found out by accident. And there's actual quicksand in the top of this dune over here. Um, so but it, it goes down one block, so you just get stuck in it and eaten by all the mobs. Very impressed. I am very impressed. You an X deployment. Oh. That's that's ready for when we're up for it. When we're up for it, we can add in the mutant X deployment, which I think I set up for wave four. Yeah, wave four. I haven't put anything like that in yet, but we'll see. Not yet. No, it's not hooked up yet. Yeah. Cool. So, so uh, I watched your episode, Ron. You've got all the code in your episode there, yeah? Yes. It's been modified a little bit since then. Cool. So, what Ron's. One of the real cool things Ron's got here is a little program that's controlling the gate down the bottom there, the uh, Miscraft portal. And you can see it's, it keeps changing colour. Because there's a little turtle in the back of there. Is it a turtle pulling the books in and out? Yes, a turtle's doing it. So, that creates random spawns within the within the uh, arena, so I came out of number two there, the desert area. Desert temple. Right. Ah. I'm trapped. <laughs> you get stuck in a tree? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fortunately, they're all transparent blocks above. These are fine for breathing through, so... Yeah. Alright. 
So, uh, well, yeah. all is any better? We should have an extra five or six zombies in round one. We'll see. Uh, Akko stuck in the temple. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no. Here they come. Wait, like she... I'm stuck here. Oh. Hello, zombie. Um, can I so... cheat? Have I got a... I don't think I've got one. Let's have a look. I don't... Can't get out until wave three now. <laughs> I don't think I've got I'm a... only doing three rounds. He's stuck forever. Well, that gave us a little more zombies, not many. Yeah, and maybe we and don't need like um, a sleep mode for wave one and two. Maybe yeah. we we'll just let it just carry on spawning wave one and two. Yeah, because even at the start of the round, it takes the spawners like five, ten seconds to get going. Yeah. So that kind of adds us adds us sleep anyway. Um, is there any sort of like part function where the doors go up, or do the doors go up and the spawners turn on at the same time? Um, they all go at the same time. Right, so start a wave one, doors up. Ah! That was <laughs> freeze, man! <laughs> Skeleton! Um, <laughs> Still stuck oh, in there? I escaped, I went for the wall, a skeleton knocked me out, and I thought I was going to fall into the void, so I panicked. And... <laughs> I see you up there, checking out the Thunderdome sign. <laughs> Making sure we put it back straight. <laughs> oh, you take it down, did you? Uh,. <laughs> No, we had a little bit of an explosion. <laughs> Take it down as such, more. <laughs> some Earth Guardians decided it wasn't right and started blowing the crap out of it. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got our Magicka boss spawning to an extent, have we? Have you turned it off? We got rid of it for now. Great. I did have a couple of alternate um, alternate safari nets in there. They're in the trees. Uh, they're coming from the trees, man. <laughs> uh, I did leave us a couple of alternates of Farinets for them to yeah. spawn us. Did you find them? I haven't found them yet. We, we could put them in there. We've got Silverfish, because I know Nemson likes them. Love them. And, uh, <laughs> and witches to mix things up a bit. Yeah, we might want to turn them on during the wave one. <laughs> Oh, they're not in here. Are they in the, are they in the spawner? The guardians are in the chest. I thought I left the uh, other ones in the chest. Uh, I moved the guardians into the chest so you could pick them up later. Hmm. Alright, so no, let's go... No chest down here, is he? Well, start of round three, the temple opening up does have quite a lot of mobs coming out, but... There's only six or seven here. No. Lacko killed a few while he was in there. Yeah. I did see a skeleton fall into its death as well, by the way. So some skeleton, uh, some stuff is escaping. Um. Well, I was yeah, I tried to beef it up there, but we still need to spawn a little bit more. Because that would help. We're getting a lot of spawns falling to their death. I'll have a little check out here, see if uh, I see anything. Could add another layer or so underneath so they don't spawn and fall through a block. I love this place. So cool. <laughs> and it's all going by the weekend. Oh. Such such is life in Minecraft. Yep. Easy come, easy go. We'll build something else somewhere else for some other theme. Doink. Yeah, just uh, take a ton of blocks down there, Akko, and just start spamming them wherever the mobs are coming out. Oh, well, I didn't see anything, so I came back in. So. Oh, okay. I hadn't started it yet. <laughs> it wasn't great video. <laughs> <laughs> so, round one. Right, I'll see how many Random for. trees and random iron bars going up and down from the drawbridges. That's good. That's as planned. So there goes We've a zombie. The temple, desert temple, is closed off. Ah, they're spawning in the middle. Yeah, got some zombies zombie. spawning in the middle, yeah. Whoops. Sorry, Zom. Alright, that's four, five, and um, there pit, yeah, it looks yeah. about only maybe six zombies the only ones that spawn. I saw at least two fall. Let me, um, well, I mean, if we're using, you know, pretty crappy armor and iron swords, six zombies is quite a bit. Yeah, yeah that, that's something we should point out here, isn't it, that we're not going to be going into our best gear and our weapons. Ah, they spawned from behind me. <laughs> <laughs> The plan is safe in the forest. 
So you use oh, one, the of these, are going. Nice. Uh, yeah, one of these syringes for different classes. Yeah. And there's um, weapons going to be in the in the. Yeah, I just haven't decided what to give the players to start off with. I think I'm just going to play through the rounds a few times and figure out what's a nice balance for. Um, Wave 5 being the pause and upgrades, where they'll be able to access the chest in the centre and get their upgrades. Whether we move on to Diamond Swords on Wave 5 and just give them Stone Swords on Wave 1 and 2 or something. Um, stone Swords, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Well, it, okay. at the minute, it doesn't feel that challenging. Because um, we've got all the best arms and armour we can, money can buy, as it were. Well, you've got... You've also got to make sure you, people can actually survive against mutants. Uh, yeah. When that bit gets brought in. Which is a wave four. Yeah, just before the upgrades. <laughs> There's quite a few now, that's not bad. Yeah, the, the light came out of the temple. Oh, the temple opened round four. Yeah. This would also be when the uh, mutant egg <laughs> potions would be raining down inside the spawn zones. <laughs> So they would be spawning and becoming mutants as they were being transported through. It's quick. Yeah, we're losing loads of zombies out here. I'm sorting out a bit. Okay. Got loads. Went through that way as well. I've got to try not to get stuck into one of those spawning chambers. But you get in to try and kill some because they're oh, shooting at you, stuck. <laughs> and you you're just waiting for the door to close behind you and get stuck. Yeah. All right, that was round four. I gave it a little bit longer because of the extra door opening up, plus yeah. the mutant creatures. Yeah, that's yeah, not too bad. Shit ton of glass. Too bad. So yeah, I did very little on this. Thank you for inviting me in and giving me some of the credit, but. Well, I was putting like <laughs> seven pipes and a couple of blocks. Couple of blocks. Well, that could have been uh, potentially more work than it actually uh, ended up being. I mean, I, I just decorated the place and made a few serums. Ron's done all the computer graph stuff to make it all work in time. <laughs> so round five, here they come. So round five, they shouldn't be coming out. Round five has a pause after. Uh, no. Round five okay. should be the pause, so they just keep spawning inside the rooms. So then, uh, ah, only the I ones in the center. Good. Yeah. Only the ones that spawn you. in the center will cause a problem in round five. Because gotcha. they're going to be mutants. Uh, well, there will be some mutants possibly in round five still hanging around if the players haven't killed them fast enough. Uh, I think you want the random stuff to stop on round five. Okay. Yeah, doors up. Um, everything stop on round five. Give the players a chance to clear the wave four. Get to the middle. Um, get their stuff while still having a few zombies and skeletons maybe falling in and spawning right in the center on top of them. Okay. Okay. And then the start of wave six, round six. The doors all open and everything that's been hoarding up comes out. Uh, but they've just got their upgrades, so they should be a better situation. Oh, here they all come. <laughs> oh. yeah, with lesser arms and weapons, I think this would be a, a little bit more challenging. Maybe we yeah. should uh, get some arms and armour for the next run of it to see just how long we can survive. Just keep tweaking it until yep. it's just balanced right. And if we can't do it, but we get close, then we know it's right. <laughs> if we can do it easily, not even uh, like breaking a sweat, then we need to increase the difficulty. So I want to get a quick sound about breaking it. Um, you can fly. Oh yeah, <laughs> didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. There's only one person. Uh, there's only one class that I've made that will have that luxury, though. The right. Blaze class. So, the Blaze class can afford to get into the quicksand, but no one else... Everyone else better avoid quicksand. <laughs> well, why the speed and jump and stuff is good for them. <laughs> I'm going to have to be that, because I'm going to go in the quicksand every time, because I just don't pay <laughs> attention to the floor. 
actively running after the mobs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not red material. I've <laughs> even got a really nasty trap just here, look. Where you sink into the sinking sand, but you can only get down one block. So if you can't fly, you're just going to be stuck. And you can't get out, and everything's going to be attacking you for the rest of the waves. <laughs> your friends can't help you other than try and defend your position. But there's no way out of it, apart from maybe there's one side that you can walk out of. So, yeah, there we go. Is there some, uh, ah, you can't actually walk out of it. You can walk out because I haven't got a carpenter's block there. So is there a bit of trust that people are just going to break blocks? Uh, well, they could, I suppose, but we will try and make it so that you can't like, break blocks. I mean, they're, they're recording it, so uh, really, they they got to show the viewers that they're hardcore and they can yeah, do this stuff that without that, cheating. That they're, not, that they're not chumps. Yeah. Yeah, you heard that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Ron can code with arrows in him. <laughs> he used to be a coder, but now he took an arrow to the knee. Oh, you went there. <laughs> <laughs> I went there, yeah. Round one. So we're on round one again. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I also want to see if these sort of spots are good for the flyer. Flying and fireballs is one thing. Um, they could do more harm than good with flying and fireballs. Though. Yeah. They could blow their own teammates up and set fire to things that their teammates are walking around. So the same with the throw potions as well. It's a, oh yeah, hit your own player. You could be hitting your own players, yeah. So, the flying and fireball in roll. Uh oh, uh oh, trees! Oh, oh no, I forgot about trees burning <laughs> and stuff. You set fire to the trees? I just set fire to the tree. <laughs> Luckily, the tree got put back into the drawbridge before it burned. <laughs> so, oh, so you can come in here in a team, can you? It's not meant to be a solo thing. Yeah, it's a three player, that's the idea. Ah. Uh, well, one, two, or three, depending on what challenge level you want. I mean, a lot of people could probably manage it on their own, I'm sure. PvP experts. Like us, uh, with our UHC like, experience. With our UHC experience, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you really don't get hit up there. Might have to change that with something. Skelly's spawning so that they shoot the guy who's flying in the early round. Yeah, well you can take fly off and the only way to get up there is to like ride a tree up and jump. <laughs> Could take fly out. Oh look at them, they're stuck in the bars. <laughs> so round three we've got... That temple's still closed, that's good. The other two doors open, yeah. 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 Round XP. three will be a lot more mobs because they're all spawning at once. Yeah. And then okay, the okay, round four. Round. Yeah, round four <laughs> comes out. The rounds are fairly quick, but maybe it's just about right because there's only like six or seven mobs spawning in there at a time. If the rounds were like ten minutes, <laughs> then it'd be uh, hundreds of mobs. Oh, I got shot by that skelly down there. Thanks for that. Killed him. Yeah, I think it's working fairly well. I yeah. think we should uh, play around with it a bit, get ourselves some basic uh, arms and armor, uh, like maybe just iron, and see how we can get through it with iron, and keep tweaking the difficulty and changing the odd thing here and there in different rounds, maybe figure out what's exactly going to go in the starting chest and the upgrade chest, and uh, get all that linked in, and maybe even have a go with the mutant creatures coming out. Cool and see what we can manage with mutant creatures on uh, round four. Cool. So uh, we'll be back in a bit, yeah? Yeah, Take back in a bit. Back tools for you. Okay then, back we are, and uh, we're going to um, try this out, are we? <laughs> We've each picked our class. We've got our genes from the class. Um, Akko's flying and fireballs. Um, Ron is running and jumping, and I'm uh, speed and... What's that? For later. <laughs> For later. Uh, what, speed what and uh, throw potions. And we're going to have a, a quick run through in this iron armor with iron swords. Just to see if we can survive it. See how tough it is. See if it's tough enough. 
<laughs> see if we're tough <laughs> enough. See if we're tough enough. See if it's a challenge enough. So, okay. and are we getting mutants this time? Yes, round four we'll get mutants. Ooh. It's hooked up with mutants. So, Is the boss fight involved as well, or have we just got silverfish and witches? Yeah, no boss fights. Okay, okay. So yeah, we've got okay. no regen psyched. or anything. Psyched, 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 psyched. And no food at the minute either. No food. Actually, we should probably have some food. Yeah, food. get some steak. Uh, got some steak out of here, I'll just get a couple. Just yeah. to start us. I've got three to start us off. And there'll be tons of rotten flesh all the way through the game. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm all ready. Right. You ready? Ready. 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 So, oh, no. Iron armor. Oh, no. Something broke. Uh, <clears throat> iron armor, iron sword. No enchants. That's it. Echo, fill it. Fill, fill time quick. Well, run fireballs. Quick. I've got fireballs in flight because I'm in a fleet. i got potions of weakness and poison and slowness. Because I'm a warlock. Of course. Is that, is that all you've got? Is it? Are just you potions. Are you done yet? <laughs> no, I put a comma somewhere. Oh, no! Oh. Doesn't belong. Join us Beaten. after this commercial break. Beaten by a comma. <laughs> yep. So, Trojan is speed and jump. Nah. Uh, free T flying fireball. And are ah, you at speed, dear? Speed and potions. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So, and then upgrades on round five, uh, wave five are in the chest in the center. Right. Which means you could potentially switch classes oh. mid game. Right, I get it. So, I see, I see. This is why there's a bit of a pause on wave five so that people can go to the center <laughs> chest. There are mobs that spawn into the center on top of the center chest. So they still have to fight while their allies take the uh, genetics out and re-inject themselves. And All stuff. right, here we go. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. We're going. <laughs> we're going. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I really think we should have a ref that's like in full armor and <laughs> weapons we have, just in case. We have got the door. Afterward. We can escape out the door. I'm going to climb this vine and stand on this rooftop. Uh, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to run and around in circles. How's that sound? Keep around a second. Oh, uh oh, I'm in the quicksand. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's an X potion. That's oh, what? Cool. Oh. It dispenses it just... them without destroying it. No, that can't be right. Hmm. <laughs> well. uh, okay, maybe we need to use um, those right clicky things. Oh. Instead. I thought dispensers would throw it though. Oh, oh we got mobs. The first mob. The first mob. Everybody, the first mob. Kill it quick. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, do the mobs just need to walk through the potions, or do they, do they need to be clicked onto the mobs? They need to be thrown at them, basically, and explode on their faces. Ah, oh, right, yeah, Autonomous Activator should do that for us. Hopefully. You can set them to throw a high or throw a low, or whatever. They're not really potions, though, that's the trouble. They're not, they don't have the same characteristics mod-wise, because they're modded. So, they might be that uh, they're not treated as potions. Um. They'll still be thrown, I think. If they're throwable by a player, then the activator will be able to throw them. Right. We're on round three, and I haven't seen more than two mobs. Pretty sure we've got really bad luck, and they're all in the desert temple. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, the, the oh, spawning's here's... totally random, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, they're all over the tree tree area. Okay. Potion's coming in! Oh, sorry, I can't! <laughs> I can't do this potion thing! This is a bad idea. Potion. Am I healing them? Ah, uh, you poisoned me. You poisoned me. I'm on fire. Bang, 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 bang. I don't think I'm at oh, the edge of the skeleton. Desert Temple open, it's some poison in there. Oh, um. Yeah. Oh, wow, there's a ton of them coming, guys. Look at the temple. <laughs> Fire at the temple, don't go near the temple. I'm firing at the temple, don't go near the temple. Giving them weakness and slowness and all sorts. Um, they seem to be stuck in a bit as well. One of them's got a boot and egg oh, no. and I hope he's not going to throw it anywhere. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is heavy. Stuck in. <laughs> Light came out the top. Oh, down to four hearts. 
I'm hiding the trees. Oh, the trees have vanished. Ah. My cover vanished. I'm, I'm There's a skeleton out here by the door. <laughs> Walk out the way, run! Walk out the way! Walk out of it! That's it! That's it. Uh, 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 this zombie stuck in here with me! No! <laughs> I had to leave the arena to uh, kill a skeleton and gun out there. I just had my Tinker's hearts come up. And I'm pretty sure I don't have my Tinker's hearts on me at the minute. Oh yeah, I've got some of them. Woohoo! We lived! I definitely don't have my Tinker's. Wow! Glitchy. <laughs> <laughs> So this is wave four, so this is when the mutant X potion should should we should have had mutants that round. Should have had mutants. So no. Oh no, no, why did I no, why did I do that? <laughs> no Goodbye, no. Bye bye. I'm gonna take one of these golden apples out just in case. Can I push you down? Jump on the head, see if it works. <laughs> you did as well. <laughs> now you're in here as well. I can fly though, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> Should be a lasso, yeah. Oh, oh more, more mobs. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I am actually gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh no, I went through. I'm okay. Oh, one heart though. I'm on one heart. That's and I'm in a spawning location. That's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, I, I stopped it. Oh, Ron. Oh, what? Oh, I was fine. I've just upgraded to chain leggings as well. <laughs> nice. Right, well, unfortunately, I've run out of time. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to wrap up there and leave these guys to it. Well, right. we'll keep experimenting. Cool. Thanks, chaps. See you later, hackers. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. Well, then, that was fun. We all survived. Unfortunately, uh, Ron chickened out and pulled the pulled the plug when uh, it looked like Nemson was going to die. But a uh, lot of fun, a lot of potential for more fun in there as well. Unfortunately, I was pushed for time tonight, so I have left them two guys to it. They're still in their iron armour. Um, I'm back in my American football outfit. And uh, I'm going to have to go out. So thank you, as always, for watching. I hope that was entertaining, a little bit different. Um, and... Uh, I should be back for possibly more fighting in there or, or a normal episode where I'll be carrying on with ice until next time. Cheers. Bye.